If your Fire TV keeps restarting or turning itself on and off, there's one of a few possible causes that I'm going to cover in this video. So first of all, we need to define what we really mean when we say the TV keeps restarting itself, because there's two different types of restart that we could be talking about. So first of all, does your TV stay on for only a few seconds? Maybe just the logo comes up on, on screen and then it restarts itself. Or maybe nothing comes up at all, so the TV just switches on, the screen maybe powers up and then it restarts and it just keeps restarting and gets stuck in this endless boot loop and you can't switch it on and get to the menus or anything. So that's the first type of restarting. And that's usually caused by a hardware fault. So often it's because of the backlights causing a voltage fluctuation because they failed. And that is activating an error correcting pathway on the main board. And then that's restarting your TV to try and resolve that error. But we'll look at that at the end of this video. And then there's the other type of restarting for your TV where maybe it stays on for a few minutes and you can start it up and watch some TV. You can open the menus and then a few minutes later it will just restart itself. And maybe it restarts after different periods of time. Maybe it'll stay on for an hour or two, maybe only a few minutes. And in that case, it's usually either caused by a software glitch or a problem with one of the other devices that your TV is plugged into. Or of course, there could still also be a hardware fault that's causing it ultimately. But we'll start with the simplest to fix causes, which are mostly software related, and then move on to the hardware fixes at the end. So first of all, it's always a good idea just to try power cycling your TV. So it's a really simple, easy process, and that will clear out your flash memory and any temporary files. All you have to do is just unplug your TV from the wall socket, hold down the power button for about 10 seconds just to drain any power, then wait for a further couple of minutes and then plug your TV back in and switch it on again. And hopefully that will get rid of the restarting problem. Well, those are pretty basic step. It often does fix the issue. If that hasn't solved it, then just try removing any surge protectors or smart plugs between your TV and your wall socket. Because if you've got a failing surge protector, then that could be causing an intermittent power going to your TV and causing it to reset itself. So just make sure your TV is plugged directly into the wall socket. You can also just make sure that there's not a problem with the remote causing your TV to restart. So it could be that the, the remote slipped down the side of your sofa and you keep hitting the power button when you're sat on the sofa. Or it could just be that one of the buttons is sticking, so the power button is sticking on the remote. So just try taking the batteries out of your remote if it's a, a Bluetooth remote, if it's a, an infrared remote, then just make sure it's not pointing at your TV. And then to see if your TV is still restarting without the batteries in the remote. If you've tried those and your TV is still restarting, then check to see if it's caused by one of the devices connected to your TV via HDMI. So most devices like set-top boxes or games consoles use HDMI CEC which allows your console or set-top box to control the power state of your TV. So it can switch your TV on and off as the device itself is switched on and off. And that could be causing your TV to restart. So just try disconnecting all of your HDMI cables and seeing if your TV is still restarting. So take out any Fire Sticks or Chromecast Sticks and just see if your TV still restarts itself without anything plugged into it other than the power cable. If your TV stops restarting, then you know that the issue is caused by something plugged in via HDMI. And so it's a good idea just to try switching off HDMI CEC. To turn off HDMI CEC on a Fire TV, press home on your remote, then scroll to the gear icon for settings, then display and sounds, then click HDMI CEC device control and uncheck power control. You can then plug your HDMI device back in 
and it should work as normal, but it won't restart your TV. Fire TVs have a temporary cache of installation and other files that you can manually clear from the Android recovery menu. These files are often a cause of a TV getting stuck in a, a boot loop, so clearing this won't have any negative consequences on your TV at all, but it will hopefully help stop the, the TV from restarting itself. So you won't lose any settings or personal data by clearing this cache. So you want to try this before a factory reset. To clear the cache on a Fire TV, first we'll unplug your TV and then hold down the power button and plug it back in. Keep holding the power button until the Fire TV logo comes up on screen and then you'll be entered into the Android recovery menu. So then just scroll down to wipe cache partition using any single press of the power button to scroll and then long press to select wipe cache partition and confirm it and you'll then see cache wipe complete at the bottom of the screen and you can reboot your TV using this menu. If clearing the cache doesn't help then you can factory reset your Fire TV as a last step. To factory reset your Fire TV press the home button on your remote and go to settings then device and software and select reset to factory defaults. Your default pin should be four zeros. You can also factory reset your TV from the recovery menu that we use to clear the cache if your TV is struggling to stay on long enough for you to access it through the regular menu. But if your TV is still restarting, or if it's only staying on for a few seconds and restarting so you can't access any of the internal menus, then you need to check for component failure within your TV and that's going to mean taking it apart. So this will void your warranty, but if it's an older TV, then it's easy enough just to take it apart and just have a quick look and see if you can find the cause of the problem. So first of all, make sure all power is drained from your TV. So unplug it and then hold down the power button. And you might want to wait for about 30 minutes or so just to make sure there's no power in the capacitors in your TV, which might otherwise give you a shock. You can then put your TV face down on a soft surface, unscrew the case and remove it. There might be a few little plastic clips that you have to jimmy open with a flathead screwdriver. Once you've got your TV's back case open, you should see three boards inside for most models. So there'll be a main board, which is where the HDMI connections and other input output connections are made. And that's the logic for your TV that controls all of the menus and has all of the firmware on. And that's connected by a cable to the T-Con, which translates the signal from the main board into something that the panel can use and sends it to the panel through two ribbon connectors. Some recent TV models combine the T-Con with the main board, and you know if that's the case, because the two ribbon cables will just come directly out of the main board. These go into the panel and are factory sealed so you can't replace these ribbon cables and they can also be quite delicate so make sure you don't damage these. Both of these boards are then powered by the power board which can be identified by the power socket which will be on it or nearby and plugs directly into the power board. The power board also powers the backlights and backlight failure is usually one of the main causes of your TV restarting itself. So what happens is that when the TV starts up, the main board detects a voltage fluctuation caused by the failing backlights and it sends a signal to restart your TV. But there could also be a component failure on the main board itself that's causing it to hit this error correcting pathway or even a component failure on the power board causing it to hit this error correcting pathway and restart. The only way to really be sure is to use a multimeter to check the components and to check the backlights but if you don't want to do any of that then it's the simplest most complete repair is just to replace your main board or your power board or the backlights but replacing all of these can be quite a lot of work and if you don't know which one is the fault then you'll spend quite a lot of money replacing components which are otherwise working normally. So a good way to try and 
identify where the problem is, is to first of all, find the two ribbon cables going from your T-Con or your main board into your panel. Flip the catch on one of the cables and remove it, leaving the other cable connected. And then switch your TV on and see if it reboots. Now hopefully what will happen is that the TV will come on and will stay on. Half the screen will be black because you've got one, one of the cables disconnected, which provides signal to half of the screen. So you should only have half a screen working, which would be normal with only one LVDS ribbon cable connected. If your TV is still rebooting, you can switch your TV off again and then switch over which cable is connected and then see if your TV does not reboot. If your TV stops restarting with either one of these cables disconnected, then you can assume that the problem is either on the T-Con or possibly even on the main board, but it's most likely to be on the T-Con, and it's possible to block the signal that's causing the error connecting pathway to be hit by using some small pieces of non-conductive tape on the pins of the ribbon cable going into the T-Con itself. This does take some trial and error, but it means you don't have any cost for replacement of parts. And what's likely happened here is that one of the timing clocks on the T-Con board, which is used to time when the signal is sent to the panel so that each row of pixels is filled in in turn, has just failed. And that's caused this error correcting pathway to be hit and it's causing your TV to restart itself. A proper fix would just be replacing the T-Con itself, but you can usually just get away with blocking the pin that's connected to the failed clock and that is making your TV restart itself. I've linked another video in the top right, which will give you a lot more detail on how to do this. If removing either of the T-Con cables did not have any effect on your TV restarting, then the problem is most likely on the main board or the power board or connected to the backlights themselves. So the next step is just to remove the cable going from the power board to the main board. So this means that the main board is not receiving any power at all and try switching your TV on. It should still come on and the backlight should come on, but you won't get any signal or any picture because the main board doesn't have any power. And it won't respond to any button presses. But the TV should stay on. And if it does stay on, then you know that the main board is definitely causing your TV to restart, probably because of this error correcting pathway. Finding the exact cause of your TV restarting can actually be a bit tricky but you want to have a look at the connection between the power board and the main board and printed next to the connection should be some identifications for each of the pins. And you want to look for anything that's got error, connect, error correcting on, so it's anything that says ERR or anything to do with backlights, so if it has PWM. And then you want to just try removing that cable from the connector and then putting the connector back in between the main board and the power board and then switching on your TV and hopefully that should remove the error correcting pathway and your TV should stay on. And I've linked another video in the top right about how to do this. If you can't identify the problem at all, then your best bet is just to try replacing the boards. So I would start with replacing the main board as that's the one that's most likely to be causing you the problem. That's got the most complex components on. And all of these boards are easy to replace and they're probably about $30 or so if you just look on eBay for a replacement. But hopefully that will fix your TV and stop it from restarting. And I've got some more tips in the linked article below.